Hey, what is some guys? My name is Fire, bringing us another video. Now, within this video, I'm going to be talking about why I'm really enjoying Infinite Warfare. Now, recently, I've just had the sudden urge to go play Infinite Warfare. I don't know what it's because of. I think it's because this game has a lot of content, and I'm really enjoying Modern Warfare Remastered, don't get me wrong in that respect, but at the same time, this game has so much content, and this is the reason I think Supply Drop System's actually somewhat of a good thing. And I want to explain this. Now, the thing with supply drops is it makes you want to play more. And the one thing that I love about Black Ops 3 and that kept me grinding and playing that game so much is that I was grinding for crypto keys. And that made the game so much more entertaining because I knew I was working towards something. And if I have something to work towards in the game, don't get me wrong. With Modern Warfare Remastered, I have a load to work towards. I'm so close to getting regal shotguns right now. I'm literally about like, I think I'm about. 20 headshots or something off, so I'm really close uh, on that, and I'm really enjoying Modern Warfare Remastered, I love the gameplay, I love boots on the ground gameplay, I love that, by far that wins within that respect, but this game has just so much content, and within like the daily login bonuses and different things like that, little small features that make this game more interesting, and as well, salvage, you can save up salvage, and over time, I'll be able to get really cool variants that keep, makes the game more fun and entertaining. So that's one of the big reasons and why I'm really enjoying this game and why supply drop systems are a good thing and that's the good thing you can take out of them. Overall, in Call of Duty, if I prefer them, I prefer them not to be in the game and I'm pretty sure everyone can agree with that but what's the point in getting annoyed? It makes the game more fun because it makes me work towards something. If I have something to work towards, it makes the game so much more fun and that's the, one of the things I don't like about this year is because a lot... Like, it basically splits out the player base. So, I want to play, say, maybe one game, and then my friends want to play another game. So, it's like, seriously, I don't know, because I like taking a game seriously, and I like grinding out that game, trying to get as high a level as possible, try to beat people I know and, like, level. That makes the game more fun for me, and that's what makes Call of Duty fun. But when there's two games, and it's splitting up into two player bases, it's basically messed everything up. And I would have preferred one Call of Duty game this year if it wasn't Infinite Warfare, make Modern Warfare Remastered. I don't care. Just make one Call of Duty game each year. I don't like having two. And that's just my opinion. Overall, so far, I like this game. I think it's good. I think it plays well. And I don't hate it. A lot of people hate on this game. And a lot of people say COD's dead. And hashtag make COD great again. What is that? Call of Duty, I think I'm so excited for the next year's Call of Duty game. I think 2017 COD is gonna be an amazing year for Call of Duty. I think they're gonna go back to boots in the ground. I think it probably will still have supply drops, I don't think they'll ever take that out. And that's something that we're just gonna have to live with, so just stop complaining about it. So, overall, I'm really excited for next year's Call of Duty, and I'm enjoying this one. Give it a shot, it's actually a lot of fun, and even though it's not the Call of Duty that everyone wants, I'm enjoying it. Anyway guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to smack that like button down below, and subscribe to more Call of Duty content, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.